boy, looking at the radar on my phone, there's a big front and it's going to pass just north of us and it's actually just coming through right now. You know, the weather is one of the most important things that I watch when I'm going out to try to determine what I might fish that day, what the mood of the fish might be, what patterns might develop out there. You know, basically the bass is a low light feeder and when you have a low pressure system like this that comes in, you've got a window that'll open up where these fish will go crazy. They'll get real active. You know, that's where you want to throw a spinner bait or a crank bait or a jerk bait because the strike zone gets a lot bigger. You know, you got the wind, you got these clouds, it's low light, they're going to go out in the prowl. They know they've got an advantage over the shad and the bluegill, and they're going to be a lot more active, and they'll chase a bait a long ways. So today's the day you want to throw your power baits, spinner baits, crank baits, you know, fast moving lures that you can cover a lot of water with. As soon as that front passes, they're going to hunker down, they're going to get tight to this cover like this would, and I'm probably going to have to change to a different technique, you know, something slower, something that I can fish vertically and keep in the strike zone longer, like a jig or a drop shot. The weather is something that I watch religiously. The weather channel is something you should check every time you go fishing to see what's going to happen during that day that you're fishing, what's kind of came through in the past because it'll give you a good idea what the mood of the fish might be and a good starting point as to what techniques you could use for that day. If you've got a fishing trip planned, watch the weather channel, check the hourly forecast and plan your day around it. If you watch the weather, your bass fishing is really going to improve. That's it. Class dismissed.